Hi guys, Robo46 here, welcome yourselves back to MotoGP24 on the Xbox Series X. Let's continue with career mode. We are off to Philippe Island and uh, yeah, we've already wrapped up the titles. So we're literally just doing this for fun and basically for the team and also the constructors. Um, yeah, four races to go include in this one. And then we will be switching manufacturer again for next season. So it's all going to be dry. Well, actually, it may not be. The main race may become wet. Let's go practice. Right. Let's just stick a soft front in, take some fuel out as always, and let's go do some laps of Phillip Island. The rider makes his way confidently to the bottom. Okay. Let's see if we can get straight through to Q2. Okay. No one coming out of the pits. No, that's fine. Your pretty around here felt pretty good. Let's see how the Ducati is in comparison. I still feel like I felt more comfortable on the Aprilia compared to the Ducati, even though we wrapped up the title on the Ducati very, very early. But there has been times where I've had issues with the Ducati, especially the front end. You never know. We may end up having our best season yet. I just don't feel as comfortable. And yeah, there's only one track left on the calendar with which I've yet to win, and that is uh, Portugal. Okay, first lap done, 27.5. Should be able to go quicker than that. Got the fastest, uh, fastest lap at the moment, which surprises me. I mean, my gap is coming down. Oh, I was offline, way offline. My poor Ducati. Okay, Bazaki's gone quicker. Okay, 27.3 for Bezeki still at the moment. There are a load of red sectors on the board, including me. OK. 
Okay, don't go too mad this time through Lukey Heights. Okay, this should put me on top. There we go, 26-7. That's the end of a terrific Fastest overall. Session. Jorge Martin, second place. The rest of the weekend. All right, so Vinales and Arbolino through Q1 and Q2. So, put some new tyres in. And then we'll go straight out. Try and get into the uh, 26s again. Banyaya following. The two number one Ducatis. Okay. Really pulled away from Banyaya there. Wide there at Miller Hairpin. There you go, 26 6. Third place. Look how close the times are. 26-5, 26-6, 26-6. Okay. From row though, that's fine. Alright, sprint race. Phillip Island. I will put the ride height on, but I'll make sure we disengage it by turn one. Okay, away we go. Good start. So 
we have disengaged it which is good try and get around the outside of these two pump up the inside for turn two Is Mark going to have a go into Miller hairpin? Miller corner even? No he does not, okay. It's a little bit wide. a little bit too rushed into that. Oh, Binder's gone. Binder has binned it. Martin going to get past Mark. Not the moment. Now he has. Okay, so Martin up to second place. very sideways in. Usually when I start getting the bike crossed up like that it ends up in a, uh, a crash but I managed to hold that quite nicely. Ooh! Jeez, okay. Oh, he's wide there. Martin is in the groove. Oh, he was wide at turn one. Okay, that didn't work nearly, but not quite. This is where he's good. I'm on the wrong side of them. He's wide there. Not enough though. Where's he going? Where's he going? Is he wide? He is a bit wide. Bit of contact on the way through. I'm expecting him to be up the inside, and he is. Okay, this is a penultimate lap as well, so we need to uh, 
try and get past him again. Oh, that was a big slide. That lost me a bit of time. Oh, I took a lot of inside curve. He went wide. A lot of mistakes from the two of us, but we're still miles ahead of Marquez in third. I think Martin may have this one, you know. I don't think I've got the pace to uh, close that gap. Half second lead he's got. Close enough to uh, have a go into Miller's. Not close enough. Jorge Martin is going to win the sprint race. Yeah, second place. Didn't quite have the pace on him. A slightly quicker lap time, but yeah. Okay, everyone finished. Everyone finished. So we will get a podium. Jorge does close in a little bit, but doesn't mean anything because we've already wrapped up the title. Was a great sprint and now everything it's a good race though to celebrate with the riders on the podium in the middle of the track now i need to see if we can be better in the main race right is it actually going to Everything rain in the main the race the... or will it stay dry it's very very cloudy Quattro got a good start. Oh. oh. Just kiss the grass there, yeah. That's fair enough. Hey Mark, you can lead for a bit. Don't mind that, you're not a threat to the championship. Well, no one is, to be fair. And I know that this Ducati versus that KTM. The Ducati's going to come out on top. And Martin again, because I was wide. Oh, Mark having a little moment there. I need to stop leaving that door open. Oh. Oh, Martin's down. Martin is down. So Binder now in second place. <laughs> Jeez, okay. A little bit sandwiched there. Wide through turn one.
Martin is not out. Is it going to be a similar race to the sprint? Can Mark keep Binder behind him? Is the rain going to arrive at any point? Okay, that is too hot into that. Yeah, here comes Binder trying to go around the outside of Mark. Mark still holds on at the moment. Oh, jeez. What was wrong with me through there? I think it is going to start raining, you know. It's just got that kind of vibe about it. Making so many mistakes at the moment. Right, let's just try and calm down. Let's put some clean laps together. How close is Binder? Very close. Then it's Banyaya. It's better through turn one. Binder is now up to second place. So we've got to go careful because there is a Ducati in second now. Be interesting to see who replaces me here in the Factory Ducati team next season. Obviously last season and my first season actually was uh, Quattararo on it. That was better. Okay, Binder is on it. Okay, 26.6, but 26.4 for Binder. We're on lap 5 of 9. Looks like it's got a little bit darker.
Okay. It was a 34.4, but I think Binder pretty much matched me on that lap. I see Banyaya's up to third now. So he's got ahead of Mark now as well. He's right on Binder. Could be factory. Well, I mean, technically all three of them are factory, but the factory team, Ducati's first and second. If Banyaya can get past Binder. Okay, it's not going to rain. Or if it is going to rain, there's no point in coming into the pit. I don't think it is going to rain. I think Binder is, is going to about set the, the new lap record or no, move fast this time, no. It seemed like he closed in a hell of a rate in that final sector. Thought he was going to go a bit quicker but apparently not. Yeah, it's definitely not going to rain, we're on the penultimate lap now. I think that's happened before around here, where it said it's going to uh, rain during the race and then didn't. moment on the brakes there but otherwise fine he's very close now surely this is going to be a quicker lap 26-3 is the final lap so let's give it everything we got
Okay, I'm about to go a little bit quicker than my best lap. My fastest lap on the final lap. Yeah, no rain. Well, we wait for the cameras to take us to the park. So still 26-4. 26-3 best lap. So yeah, top three GP24s. Oh, Vignal has got Mark as well. Must have got him on the last lap. And Quattro wasn't that far behind either. A tenth of a second behind Mark. I'm a little bit concerned about the uh, the KTM. Oh well. Let's see what happens next season anyway. Still got three races to go this one. I was expecting Bangaya to get Binder, but he, he couldn't manage it. Yeah, Binder kept me honest the whole race. I didn't actually check to see where Martin finished. Don't think it was very high anyway after his crash. Live for the podium ceremony of the Grand Prix. The three riders on the box right now gave us all a great race. Now they can enjoy the applause from the crowd. Right. Another win. And the Grand Prix win. Yeah, enjoy the trophies at the moment. So I think I'll definitely be getting less next season. And then probably none the season after. Two new messages. So yeah, Chang will be next. Oh, okay, wet practice. Wet qualifying, wet sprint, and then a dry race. That is going to be uh, quite a difficult one. Okay, overall standings. Moto 3. Watley now leads the way by six points. Suzuki drops down to second place. Carraro stays in third. Ortola up to fourth. And Bertelli is down to fifth place. Top five separated by 24 points. Uh, Alonso Lopez leads in Moto2. He extends his lead to 26 points over Fodger in second, Binder in third, Aji fourth, and Artigas in fifth. So, yeah, Alonso really extended his lead there over 25 points. MotoGP, I uh, extend my lead over Martin. Binder stays in third. Banyaya stays in fourth, Quattararo stays in fifth. In fact, is there anyone who moves? Yeah, a bit further down. Alicia Spargo and Fernando swap positions, as does Arbolino and Rins. Look at the Hondas down there. 22nd, 21st, 20th and 18th. Okay. Anyway guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. I shall see you guys next time when we go to a wet Chang. See you!